Yeah. Yeah. When we say it is a full fledged uh, wow. mobile clinic, we mean exactly so. Yeah. We have the stretchers, yeah. uh, whenever we have screening or any services being happening here, yeah. we're able to see our patients from here. Yeah. Those are some drawers where we can keep equipment or, or so, so you can open it, have a look at it. Yeah, right. And of course, in terms of uh, respect to toilet food or something, we're able to to really have screens and see our patients in, in privacy. Yeah. Your Excellency, when we are seeing patients here, yeah. we have a table yeah. that we're able to really register our patients very comfortably and see them. And uh, in terms of in infection prevention and control, we have our, our hand wash facilities, uh, the waste management uh, uh, facilities for self boxes and all that. Uh, whenever we go to the community, we have the peer system that we're able to talk to the clients out there and mobilize people. You need to use a solar. Yeah. We don't use a battery or any. We use solar and we have an inverter there of which all the electrical system here is on solar system. Uh, this FPA is also on uh, solar which is standby. Everything here also gets. So we are somehow conserving uh, the environment by reducing carbon emission. Uh, our drugs here, yes, for our drugs here, yeah. and yeah, they was for them dispense them here from from this particular end. Oh, yeah. So yeah. the patients yeah. coming, yeah. we are able to, to dispense our drugs from here and yeah. install them here. Next yeah. we needed to just to make sure that uh, the teams when they are in the field they are very well equipped. We have the crash box. It's an emergency kit. Yeah. That, uh, that uh, with the fridge for storage of uh, uh, items, uh, drugs that are the fridge. It runs on the generator. Yes. yes. Not the generator. Yeah. Yeah. On the solar. 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 Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. the let's see when you have your chains in the field. Yeah. We won't let them stay hungry. Ah, they have a They cook. have a small kitchen. Eh? They should be able to warm their food yeah. and, uh, and, and, and do everything. Then, uh, of course, when they are out there and they are pressed, you know, so they don't need to go to the bush and uh, and uh, and spoil your environment. They have a washroom. Very well, very well done. So, so it's a setup that is uh, is uh, good, especially for the hard to reach areas, mm -hmm. and we know, of course, we have a number of those areas, and uh, we conduct so many camps, outreaches, and Your Excellency, you can be sure, uh, this is uh, a good facility that, when well maintained, it will serve you a big deal, yeah. right? So. <laughs> I think we've I think we've really said it all. Um, uh, we've been we've been here for the since 2014, and uh, we've gotten great support from the Homer Bay County, uh, and we can only see it getting better. It's the confidence and co that we have that has made it possible for us to come here, so that we can hand over this uh, facility here. Uh, we work with enough uh, grant funded projects. And uh, as we were speaking, ours is to see that it is sustained mm -hmm. and it meets the needs of the people of the community. Once that is done, then it's always possible to upscale it even to other levels. Mm -hmm. So we are truly grateful and have the confidence that it's going to do what is required.
see the CEO of the Khan, the rest of the county officials that are present, good morning. Mine is only to take this opportunity to thank the Aga Khan for uh, assisting the county government of Homa Bay with a fully fledged facility to improve the health care in Homa Bay. And I, my advice will only to ask those who will be using the facility to take good care of it so that we can assure the development partner that we really care for every donation, for every corporation, for the benefit of our people. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. I take this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, DG. Um, the CEO of uh, the PAN, Jane uh, Wanyama, together with your entire team, my own team here, uh, led by the CC, and the entire health uh, staff. We are really grateful this morning. It's a, it's a really, really bright day for us, and a bright day for the healthcare community. And uh, what we have seen in the mobile clinic is really a fully fledged hospital, but even better, you know, than a fully fledged hospital. It's a, it's a first world type of uh, facility that we have uh, here, and we are truly grateful that Homa Bay uh, has been considered by the Aga Khan Hospital uh, for this um, donation. So, what we can say is that Homa Bay has a big focus on healthcare. We have, uh, in the, over the last one year, put a lot of effort on improving the healthcare of our people. If you have a population that is not healthy, you are unlikely to achieve the economic transformation that we endeavor to attain. So we start from the basics of the basics is healthcare, and we're happy that Aga Khan has been a partner. Aga Khan has a hospital here in Homa Bay, and we hope that you know that can continue to expand and that this partnership can continue to uh, expand as well. So the really, really, um, um, I'm, you know, as I told you, I'm also part of the Aga Khan uh, family, yeah, having had my foundations. Uh, then all we can assure um, yourself and the partners who have supported this process, the Germans and so on, is that this will go a long way in working for the people. We are a people centered county, we are about the people, we are for the people, everything for the people. And we don't want you to come and find the mobile clinic, you know, in the next one year. It's sitting on stones, you know, and it's not moving. So I think the challenge to the health team is that this has to continue to move and it has to continue at the same standards, in the same quality, so that it offers service in the long in the long run. So Asante Nisana. Uh, to I really hope that this is going to go a, a long way, especially in strengthening our community-led initiative. As you know, Her Excellency the Governor's uh, manifesto is very big on uh, primary health care. And that is why when we took uh, office, the first thing we did was to start paying a stipend to our community health volunteers. So we want to be very innovative, so innovative to the extent that we even want CHVs to tell us on this day, just come to this center and we shall bring patients and we'll be able to send both medical officers, I mean medical officers, clinical officers and even specialists. 